The economic picture continues to brighten. Kentucky Indiana Highway Project grows. Kohler rolls out portable generator line and a look at cheesy ice road solutions. That and more on Construction News Tracker brought to you by Caterpillar and produced by 4constructionpros.com. Although the new year has barely kicked in, there's plenty of positive vibe from economic experts. Initial reports indicate a healthy job market gaining steam as the unemployment rate is now down to 7%. Analysis of federal data show construction jobs increased to 211 metro areas, dropped in 67 and were unchanged in 61 metros year to year through November 2013. And the Federal Reserve Bank shows increased confidence going forward. Consumers are pushing the production and spending sectors as housing, manufacturing, and other industries that make up the GDP continue to grow in turn, driving energy and business industries along with them. The first of nearly 900 concrete beams to form the new I-65 highway crossing between Louisville, Kentucky, and Jeffersonville, Indiana are now in place. Project manager Walsh Construction says each of the 67-ton beams are 118 feet long and form the base for the massive new bridge that will eventually connect the two cities when finished in 2016. Crews are expected to begin placing the steel decking next spring, followed by concrete for the roadbed. The push to require cool pavement techniques is headed for a total review following a recent university report on the subject. The National Center of Excellence for Smart Innovations at Arizona State claims there's little benefit to using reflective pavement in urban settings to reduce temperatures. The story also questions the use of reflective roofing materials as well. As a result, California is ordering a comprehensive review of such policies. Pennsylvania has $2.4 billion to spend on its rapid bridge replacement project, and it may not be enough. PennDOT hopes to replace 500 bridges deemed deficient and has reached out to contractors for bids that will be accepted through the end of January. This despite the fact the state has 998 spans eligible for a redo when construction begins next year. Kohler has jumped into the portable generator business. The new gasoline-powered lineup ranges from 2 to 12.3 kilowatts and will include water and trash pumps that can be used by a myriad of industries as well as residential use. Kohler for years has made standby generators, but this is the company's first foray into the portable line. While it wouldn't be America's dairy land if it weren't for cheese, and now Wisconsin's largest city is taking the nickname One Step Higher. Milwaukee has begun a pilot project to use a mozzarella byproduct of cheese brine mixed in with road salt to combat ice-covered streets. When you live in a region that gets more than its fair share of ice and snow, every dollar counts, as Road Chief Jeffrey Tews explains. Well, in terms of budgets, uh, costs, of course, go up for fuel. Uh, The tire costs for for the trucks, the salt that we put in the trucks, all of these costs are going up, and we can't control that. Initially, the cheese brined is being put down on streets in two neighborhoods. In a city that uses over 60,000 tons of rock salt annually, it makes economic sense to give it a try, as Mayor Tom Barrett outlined. And and I'm the first to acknowledge, it's a pilot. We we felt, and again, Alderman Zielinski, I give him credit for thinking outside of the cheese box. It, it, It may sound absurd. It may work fantastic. We don't know. As of the latest report, the cheese brine, usually in industrial wastewater, is being provided free with the city only having to pay for transportation costs. And, by the way, it has very little odor to it. Finally, the greatest threat towards the future is indifference. This is Construction News Tracker watching out for the industry that makes the world a better place. Brought to you by Caterpillar and produced by 4 Reach us anytime at facebook.com forward slash 4 Pros 
or at Twitter, where you can share us with friends or leave a comment using hashtag construction news as the streaming web never ends.